fish on, fish on. He's coming at me. I don't know how big he is yet. <laughs> that he took. That one he took the. Uh, F, no, uh, the bead head, yeah. Yeah, he's hasn't really shown himself yet. So, yeah, he's uh, whatever he is, he's not happy about it. <laughs> oh yeah, now he's just trying to clean the deck here. Oh, that looks like a good fish. Looks like a rainbow. Looks like a rainbow. So we were just. D had put us in a back eddy here, kind of a lazy Susan setup, and great for this hopper dropper technique. Just cast it in and work it close to the banks and either hopefully get a take on the dropper, uh, sorry, on the hopper, but in this case he took the uh, dropper, the small bead headed nymph. This looks like a good rainbow. Good rainbow here. These are just very strong, healthy fish. Yeah, he's got that little bead head right in his snout. Oh yeah, this is a good fish. Oh yeah, I'll take some of these. I'll take these all day long. <laughs> God, they're so healthy, so full finned, so so strong. <laughs> oh, this is a nice fish. And again, that hopper just pulled under slightly. I have no idea whether it's a little fish or one of these quality rainbows and browns that have it this spectacular place to cast a fly. That's a decent fish. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Strong. I think my hopper is going to need a little desiccant. <laughs> <laughs> it's been drowned. There he goes. He just doesn't like that big black net. No. I'm steer him towards you. Reel him in a bit more. There we go. Good job, D. <laughs> this is why you come to the Bow River. Just an incredible fishery. World class. Arguably the best trout stream in the world, some say. I'm inclined to agree. Let's go do that again. Work the banks.